Hello everyone, La13 Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Shadows Over Loathing. So, both of these people are real squirrely from what uh, I was hearing. Who are you? Vicious Puddle reflects a gloomy face. Talk to him. Talk to the Puddle of Man. Uh, Puddle, please. Hello, sir. I can't understand you. It's a puddle. <laughs> don't, don't sass me. Anyway. <laughs> Talk to him, the man. Hey, what's the matter with you? She left me. Who left you? Amphibious truck. Do her name was amphibious? Or... Or... Do you have an amphibious truck? Oh, so not a person? No, I'm more interested in amphibious trucks. So what happened to your truck, man? <laughs> Our truck. It was the company truck. We used it to take the fish to the market. A couple nights ago, I forgot to fill her up before bed. That must have really ticked her off, because the next morning she was gone. No note, no nothing. Are you suggesting this truck has sentience? Could it have anything to do with the missing kids? Uh, what's this puddle here? Missing truck, that's a shame. Are you suggesting this truck has sentience? It's funny. I wouldn't have thought so. But I can't see any other explanation for it running off this way. Could it have anything to do with the missing children? Tom and Kathy. You'd have to talk to Mr. Chapman and Mr. Tracy about that. M M how could... How far could someone have gone in that truck? With the gas I left her? Couldn't have gone further than uh, 100 miles. 100 miles, okay. No, 100 Sorry. Hundred. It's uh, fisherman's lingo. It means like eleven. Yeah. Okay, well what what's what's the what's the puddle? Uh it's the gas. I never gave it to her that night. It's here, now, in our special place, waiting for her. Waiting for her to come home. Is it is it is it working? Obviously, you can see that it's not. Uh, look, sorry, I I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have made assumptions. I, 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 I'm so... I sat down to record an episode. Shadows of Loathing. I was like, yeah, no, it is... It is 12.19 at night. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll record maybe one, maybe two at most. And then I'll go to sleep. This is not good for 12.19 in the morning brain. <laughs> God, uh, man, that, that it's a, it's a shame you're missing that truck there, buddy. She'll be back. Otherwise, or she has to come back. She'll run out of gas otherwise. Then where will she be? Good, good luck, dude. I I gotta get out of here. I gotta anywhere else. Literally anywhere else. <sighs> Tell me you're normal. The guard seems happy you're here, but is a little skeptical of you. No, I'm I'm good. I'm good. We'll just go up there. There's something fishy up here. Oh, <gasps> kitty! Hello, kitty! Fisherman's cat are a touchy sort. Regard unproven outsiders with the highest suspicion. Try to pet her. The cat avoids your touch. You get the sense that only true loyalty to the fisherman will cause it... will overcome its suspicion of you. Ugh, oh, alas. Can I just give her a fish? Chum Bucket scribed, Stranger is just a chum you haven't met yet. Chum bucket inscribed champagne for my real chums, real pain for my sham chums. I like that one better. Chum pain for my real chums, real pain for my chum chums? That was a little more esoteric. I kind of like the esoteric. I'm going to be real. Okay, surely this fisherman yearns for a glorious death at sea, not to wind up behind a desk. But talk to him. Hello there. I wonder, um... Do you wish you'd had a glorious death at sea? Ho <laughs> oh, ho! Many a sea creature has tried to give me one bucko. But before they can get their teeth on me, I've reboned them. Six ways to... Sontag. This whole, this whole section. This whole section is not 12.21am. <laughs> I should have thought twice before I recorded. Jeez. 
I feel like I'm on stuff. Oh, God. Um, he spits out a wad of chewing tobacco at the door. Guy Chapman, Chief Reboning Officer of Large Mouth Bass and Sons Company. You hear about Tom? Um, I'm looking for someone myself. Uh, Charles Wallace? Hmm. He a fish? Mm. No. <laughs> then I'm not the person you ask. I'm a fisherman, friend. My bag is fish. You're looking for a human, you want to be asking some sort of human fisherman. Valid. Glad you can choke even though your son's been abducted. Oh, God, no. You are a human fisherman? His expression turns sour. Now that you've poked holes in his premise, he has lost interest in the conversation. Okay, I don't know where your friend is, all right? Um, well, anyway, I saw the poster about the missing kids. Find one child, you'll find the other. My Tom has been lured into the lair of Occam's Gator. Occam's Gator, really? By that Jezebel of a D. Boner's daughter. A good and true fisherman led astray by a delinquent sorceress who never cared for a Walt Whitman for what we do here with largemouth bass. I, from now on... Oh, you never cared a Walt Whitman? I am never recording this at 12 a.m. After just eating a, an entire large pizza. And doing nothing all day but watching anime and doing six hours of recording Graveyard Keeper on stream. I'm not doing this again at this time in these circumstances. My brain literally can't handle this. Uh, Occam's gaze. You're being a little sexist here. How's Kathy responsible? Do you think Tom could have run away on his own? Is there a finder's fee? Uh, Occam's Gator? Please go on. If, if my brain sem can handle this. I feel like my eyeballs can't actually open the way that they're supposed to right now. And I desperately don't know what that's about. I shouldn't have recorded. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is either going to be the worst episode you guys have ever seen or the funniest. Unsure. Anyway. Occam's Gator? Chapman's cheeks darken in the murky hue of the humpback anglerfish. As long as I've been... Uh, uh, nope. As long as there's been a large bout... No. What is wrong with me? As long as there has been a large mouth bass and sons, there has been an Occam's gator. It's a great misfortune. I venture that there is no creature of land nor sea quite as terrible. Twelve feet tall he is, red as a furnace, with smoke billowing from his nostrils. He and his rapacious appetites are a plague on our business. He'll eat everything we got. Largemouth bass, everything. Keep listening. It keeps me up at night wondering what we did to deserve him. Is it a sin against the land to both debone and rebone a fish? Perhaps, perhaps. But dang it. That's what gives our bass its zing. Um, being a little sexist, don't you think? Not remotely. I'm not saying anything about her gender at all. I'm only saying that she may have gotten my boy eaten by a gatorman. Uh, allow me to just pull up the receipts. Uh, Jezebel. Uh, so th there we go there. Uh, sorceress. That, that, we got another one right there. I'm, I'm totally cool with, uh, you know, bla for some reason, blaming her. Um, if you, if you really feel the need to, like, actually blame her, but, um, Jezebel, sorceress, all while you're talking negatively about her, give me a different understanding of that. It, now, if you said Jezebel in a more modern, uh, modern, potter, positive? Oh my god, what is with me? Anyway, uh, but you throw in a word like Jezebel and that sounds a little loaded. Hey! <laughs> I didn't even need to go get receipts. Is it? Well, I didn't mean anything by it. I'm willing to change, but you gotta be patient with me, alright? I'm old-fashioned. Can't keep up with all these new ideas you're generating as gender and penicillin. You know, that, that really is how that do be some days, I guess. Um, so how, how is Kathy responsible? Well, the arrogance of youth. 
Kathy Tracy never, never thought she had anything to fear from Occam's Gator. She didn't respect him. Several times I caught her attempting to summon the beast by shouting his name three times in a mirror, directly in the, or directly into the mouth of a bass. What? You know what? Superstitions. It was always going to end with her and Occam's belly. I just didn't think my Tom would be fool enough to go in with it. Any, any chance you think he could have gotten away on his own? Absolutely not. Tom's a third generation bass boy, proud and true. Why, just last month he said, I'm excited about my future in reboning largemouth bass. Dad, does that sound like the words of a boy with one foot out the door? Yes. Actually. The amount of time I have spent on Reddit this week alone, yes. That's what you tell Dad to get you off the, your back so you can scoot out the door and close it behind you and go a solid NC, no contact, can't see me, goodbye. But sure. No, there's a simpler explanation. The siren song of Kathy Tracy to lure good men to the bellies of gators. Well, okay, if you had just stopped at the siren song of Kathy Tracy, I'd have been like, the, there might be some issue with the gender thing again, but no, we're, we're good. If you're luring them to the belly of gators, that siren makes sense with the context because you're literally actually talking about that. Anyway, is there a finder's fee if I find a kid? Huh. 200 meat for starters. My mother's fishing rod for the entree. On one condition. I don't want you looking for Kathy on Tracy's dime. It's uh, Tom that needs saving. He needs saving from her. That's the one condition. Oh, and you'll need to find Tom. That's two conditions. Is it a special rod? It is. And I'll tell you why. It has never caught a fish. That sounds like the like it's worse than a normal deal. I said it has never caught a fish. It always catches two. Just don't know how it works. Don't want to know how it works. We just thank Poseidon for the bounty. Let me think on it. Thinking. Ain't no time for thinking, bucko. While well, Tom's still missing. We don't live in a puzzle book. What do you do here? I'm the chief reboning officer at Largemouth Bass and Sons. Like my father was before me and etc. It's a wonderful life and a good family life. Alright, I'll be seeing you. I'm gonna look around. Back there's a mess. It's okay, I don't mind. Not messy, it's a mess. As in, it's where we have our meals. Oh, okay, I thought it was only called the mess in the armed forces. And fishing's not the armed forces? What do we use to hold our rods, huh? Uh, uh, I, I don't know, your legs? Don't waste my time. Okay, fair enough. Mess hall back there, Oh. Low and low with the reboning knife of Righteous has complete, has a complete bass been reforged. Book of Crocus. Can I help you with something? Yeah, what's back there? Crew quarters. Wait, you live here? Where the fish live, we live. I, can I go inside? Into our family's private quarters? I'd sooner let a dogfish lose my socks. Is that? Okay, never mind, sorry. Um, what lies behind this door? Oh, what lies behind this door is only for fishermen. What is it? Fish. Can I, can I fish in here? No, oh, all right. I wanna go talk to the other one. Um, cause that's a fishing rod with double the fish. Who are you? You've had a tough year. No kidding. I hear you're a little eccentric. Emptied it to magnify the misfortune of my stolen daughter. I'm gonna give him the same voice. Um, any chance your daughter could open the safe? Impossible. I never told her the combination was three. We got that on the third tr Anyway, um, any idea who did it? I can't prove it yet, but I'll be damned if Occam's Gator did not have his claws in it. Well, then when did this happen? Three nights ago. I'm still in shock. Can't even muster the strength to close the safe. I can do that for you. It's not hard. Would you? Uh, sure. 
Bless you. Uh, thanks, thanks, man. Grizzled Mariner must hate being stuck behind his desk. Talk to him. Greetings, as a uh, Mariner, do you hate being stuck behind your desk? Excuse me, I make a six figures a year behind this desk. Mind your manners. Oh, I guess we're going to change your voice a little. You're addressing Adam Tracy, Chief Deboning Officer of Largemouth Bass and Sons. Are you here about Kathy? Um, well, I saw some posters about missing children. That's right. Three nights ago, Kathy disappeared along with all of her clothes and possessions and contents of that safe there. Oh, and the company truck. Oh, and the Chapman kid. Sounds like she might have run away from home. I'll excuse the remark, as you don't know my Kathy. But suffice to say, it's impossible. Kathy loves largemouth bass almost as much as assuming preordained roles in multi-generational family businesses. No, Kathy would not simply ever leave home. It's a much simpler explanation than Occam's Gator. What the hell is with you guys in this? Are you sure you hate each other? Because quite honestly, you came up with the same result. Okay. What do you believe about Occam's Gator? A monstrous gatorman, centuries old, ten feet tall, and if he's an in wait. Ten feet tall if he's an inch, with scales as blue as the deepest ocean. He has two tails, sharp as razors, and he's not afraid to shave you. Yep, that's what that reads. His appetites are insatiable. He'll strike at night and gobble up our fish, guns, tax returns, and whatever. Now I fear for my Kathy. Keep listening. I don't know how what we did to provoke his ire, but that beast was bullied and bothered our business since my grandfather was in toddler pants. Sometimes think the swamp itself has summoned him up to be our tormentor. Uh, my friend Charles is missing. Could Occam have taken him too? Certainly possible. I don't know the criminality of Occam's gator beyond the nose of any bounds. Um, so you think Occam's gator ate Kathy? You have to understand, for decades, Occam's Gator has been the sole author of this business's misfortune. Could he eat a child? Absolutely. That's his M.O. Monstrous operandi. I just... What if... What if there's, like, a third part of this whose entire job is to be Occam's Gator that was, like, set up by somebody's grandma or something? Like, the women got together and they, like, made something to keep messing with the men so this way they'd keep fighting that instead of each other and then it didn't work and then I uh, who knew? it's probably not but like that'd be a really cool plot um so if Occam ate Kathy aren't we too late then not necessarily Occam's only handicap is he glacially sl is his glacially slow digestion what go ask Sylvester the guard of ours he was swallowed by Occam's but by stripping off in his belly and Greasing his body in Occam's own fat, he was able to slither out of Occam's jaw while the beast slept. Where can I find Sylvester? Syl Sylvester. I don't know. We had to terminate him for attempting to unionize. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe I'm not going with you guys. Um, Occam's gator kind of sounds a little made up. There's nothing made up about a giant blue gatorman who eats guns. One of our guards actually saw Occam's. Even took a shot at him, but conventional weapons have no effect. Are you saying you haven't seen Occam's Gator? I've seen his dis the destruction he's wrought. Certainly there's that. Is there a finder's fee? 300 meat, my grandfather's old fishing rod. But I'm running the show, alright? Not Chapman. Uh, I know his boy's missing too, but you can't involve a reboner in an operation like this. They're far too emotional if you're dealing with me, you gotta keep them out. What's so special about the fishing rod? What's special about it is it can catch things that your scientists would say are impossible to find in water. How about that? So it doesn't catch fish? Yes, fish, but also impossible things. Ooh, let me think about it. Sure, I'll be here while you think, and my daughter will be dissolving inside the belly of a gator. So what is it that you do here? As I said, I'm the chief deboning officer here, and my team and I debone large mouth bass which is passed over to my colleague across the way for reboning. Cool. I'll be on my way. Let me look at the other stuff you have here. 
Though the knife of the deboner doth still shape large mouth bass, and the world through our actions, we are legion who do not believe and wouldst tear down thy work. The Book of Garrett. Is this the mess? It is. And just so you know, the fish we serve here is deboned. That's the way we like it. I don't want to see you putting new bones in that fish. I, I can promise you're not going to see that. I can guarantee you every dollar I've got, that's not going to happen. Hmm, you're not close enough to read this. Yes, I am. <laughs> Thanks. Aquatomy of Fresh and Saltwater Game Fish. Certificate of nomination for award. Be it known that Adam Tracy was nominated for Aquatomy Award of Merit for Outstanding Achievement. Best deboning bass. Uh, and what's back here? Your quarters? How'd you know that? Well, that's where Mr. Chapman had his. Maybe the two of you are more similar than you admit. Wash your mouth out with fish soap. I can I go inside? No. That's a space for Tracy family, like our crypt. Can I go to that? <laughs> okay, well... I'm inclined to help the Tracys. Um... But genuinely, I'd love to find both these guys Ooh. without accepting the quest. Sorry, the, that yawn just got me. I'm clearly tired. My brain's tired. Um, and we still haven't even gone to Mudhenge, but I mean, I don't, I don't know who to pick. I'm leaning Tracy because that catches stuff other than fish thing sounds like it'd be good. So, yeah, maybe I'll, I don't know. I'm gonna think on it, and then uh, we'll pick next time. But at least we have all of our information. I guarantee you the two of them ran off together, stole the truck to do it, ran out of gas about nine miles down the road, or 11 miles down the road, I should say, and then um, I'm gonna guess that they did actually get eaten by the gator man. Or Occam's Gator, or whatever, or got kidnapped by him, or maybe they're in a poly relationship with him. I don't know, but I feel like Occam's Gator is real based on how this game behaves. But either way, that's all the time we've got for today. So take care, everybody.